Hi, today we're in Kampung Glam. Uh, Kampung is a Malay word meaning village, and Glam is named after the Gelam tree, which used to be common here. And the wood and the oil was used in the shipbuilding industry. So what's interesting about this place is that it used to be on the coast of Singapore. So even today, the road here is named Beach Road. So travel a hundred years ago, uh, this was a busy fishing village with boats coming in with gold and coffee and spices for Singapore. But today, it's very different. It's a very fashionable area with a lot of shops and restaurants. So let's go and take a look at what it's like. You can hear the call to prayer from the Sultan Mosque. It was originally built in the uh, 1820s, soon after the founding of Singapore, and it's the focal point of Kampung Glam. The area uh, around the mosque was settled by Malay merchants and seamen and, and other Muslims from Southeast Asia. Even today, the, the Muslim and, and Arab influence can still be seen in the shops and the restaurants and in the street names like uh, Muscat Street, Baghdad Street, Arab Street, and uh, here, Busora Street. And one of the specialties in this area is perfume. This place, uh, Jamal Kazura, has been in business since the 1930s. It makes special oil-based perfumes and uh, you can even create your own fragrances here. And while you wait for your personalized fragrance, you could try one of the restaurants here. Kampong Glam is great for Middle Eastern restaurants, including uh, Lebanese and uh, we're at a Beirut grill. Um, just ordered a set lunch. It's the tabule. 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 Yeah. So this is a starter. Yeah. I think our mains are coming here. Wow. Your shish tabuk chicken. Just mm. be very careful on the skewer, man. So yep. I'll just explain that you have yep. the garlic mayo, the chili, and the uh, mayonnaise with the chili. Okay. Thank you. Mm. It's great. It's a real variety of uh, tastes. Next to Arab Street is this lane, it's the narrowest lane in uh, Singapore. And it's, it's full of boutique uh, shops and uh, cafes. It was also the stopping off point for people before they went on a pilgrimage to Mecca. So hence the name of the lane, Haji Lane. Lane has really been uh, transformed in the last uh, 15 years or so. It used to be uh, quite a, a quiet back street, but now it's become one of the main attractions for visitors to Singapore. But there are a lot of shops actually closed down. Huh? Yeah, it's been struggling in COVID times because it's really reliant on the tourists coming. Not many tourists in the last few months. So it's, uh, but still getting by somehow. A lot of the shops are still open. So today, Haji Lane is really known for its chic uh, art stores, its boutique craft shops, and uh, some very hip cafes and bars. Most of the shop houses here have two floors and uh, apparently the shop owners were taxed by the number of windows they had, so as a result they're very narrow. Most of the shop houses here have been carefully maintained and some are still being uh, restored as you can see here.
the uh, upper floors of the shop houses jut out and make a covered passageway that's called a, a five foot way so the idea was that people could shop and dine uh, come rain or shine so whereas Haji Lane is very hip whereas Arab Street tends to have more traditional items like carpets, textiles, lanterns And you're also likely to see some of the local wildlife here as several of the shop owners have their own pets. In some of the shop houses you'll find a different store on the second floor. And the rent is often cheaper on the second floor, so it's worth checking out if uh, you can get a better bargain there. Yeah, some things for men as well. Even the models have masks these days. Haji Lane is also one of the few places in Singapore where you can see some really colourful uh, street art, uh, like this mural which was created by an artist from uh, Colombia. So in less than 200 years, uh, this area has gone from a small fishing village to become one of the most international and vibrant places in Singapore. So worth a visit. This video has been helpful to you. Please like, share, comment, and share the channel.